Let's take a look at some uh, random numbers that we can create. Um, they're pretty easy to do once you've got the formula figured out uh, that'll let you uh, do some random numbers. So we're going to create some here. We're gonna get a double value n and uh, we're gonna set n to a random number. There's no user input for this program. So n is going to be equal to, or get the value of math uh, so we're going to use the math class and we're going to use the method random. So n is going to get the value of math.random and let's display it so that we can see what we've got. So system.out.println n. So if I run the program, let's see what we get. Okay, our random number is 0.7313. Anyway, it keeps going on and on and on. So it's uh, quite a long number. Uh, just to show you that it's random, uh, we hit run again. It's a different number. Now, technically, random is, a, is not, uh, is the word that we're going to use, but they're not really random, they're just impossible to predict, and that's what that's all a computer can do. Computers can't really come up with random numbers, but imagine that we wanted a number to play a, uh, a game of dice, so we wanted to represent rolling uh, a six-sided die. I don't think the number 0.199 is going to do us much good. So in this program, we're gonna take a look at how you take what math.random spits out and uh, turn it into something useful. So what we're going to do is in the next line, we're going to display n again, but we're going to turn it into something a little bit more useful. So like, uh, let's start with a random number from one to a hundred. Let's try that. So we're going to multiply this by a hundred to get started. So if I run this, you're gonna see uh, our 0.13 becomes 13.0 whatever. If I run this a couple times, just to see what this is doing, uh, I get 36, uh, I get um, 0.84. So uh, it, it multiplies it by 100. The largest number that I would get out of this is 0.999 and it goes to zero. So this one, as we're going through, this is from zero to 0 0.99999. After we multiply it by 100, it goes from zero, because zero times 100 is still zero, to 99.999. Okay. So we're getting a little bit closer to our number from one to 100. So Let's take a look at, um, I'm going to do this again. And uh, we're going to get an integer value from this. So I'm going to type cast the result of this as an integer, and then we'll see what we get. Okay, so uh, typecasting it as an integer is going to remove all of the decimal places, which is what I want to have happen here. So uh, 92, we're, we're getting close. Um, now all this does is it does not round off the number, it just loses the decimal places. So we get a number from 0 to 99. Now what I want to do is I want to make this from 1 to 100. So think about this, the lowest number I can get out of the range is 0 and I would like it to be one instead, so I'd have to add one to it. And the highest number I can get out of the range is 99. If I wanted to get 100, I would have to add one to it. So we're simply going to do that. We're going to add one. So if I run this, I'm not gonna repeat this over and over and over again until I get the number 99 to demonstrate it. You'll just have to try it out on your own if you don't trust me. Uh, so we're gonna go from one to 100. So that's a pretty simple formula, um, but what if we wanted maybe a little bit of a stranger uh, range? Imagine that I wanted to get 16 to 57. 
how would I use this random number formula to get the range 16 to 57? Okay, so there's two components here, um, x and y, and I'm going to show you how to calculate these things. So x here is the range value. I'm going to turn this into a comment as well. So x is the range. So it tells us all of the numbers that we're going to be using. So in the range from 0 to 99, how many numbers are there? Well, there's 100. So you can't do this number minus this number to get the range because it doesn't include the starting position. It gives you the difference between the numbers, but if I'm actually getting the range of how many numbers are there, it's the high number minus the low number plus one to make sure all the numbers are included. So uh, the range is gonna be the, whatever our high number is minus the low number plus one. Uh, the other value that I'm going to get is essentially um, what I want to do is this number here is going to take zero and I want to shift the numbers that I get so that the low number is the lowest number that I want in the range instead of zero. So all you have to do is you have to add the low number in the range. If I want a minimum of 16, and my minimum originally is zero, I have to add 16 to it. So this is essentially just the low number. Um, so how would I calculate this? I'm going to copy and paste. Um, so for this, x is going to be the high number, 57, minus the low number, 16, plus 1. But don't ever leave it like this in your solution, you actually want to work out what the answer is because this, this is a little bit of a mess here. So 57 minus 16 is 41 plus 1 is 42. And then what we want to do is we want to add on the low number in the range, which is 16. So if I wanted to take the same number that I used up here, but turn it into a number uh, that is in the range from uh, 42 uh, to 16, sorry, uh, from 16 to 57, I would use this formula. So I'm going to run it again. And I get 47 as my random result in this case. So by using the formula, we can take whatever we originally get and um, make it useful. Now, what if we needed a really strange range and we wanted to go from, um, let's say, negative 4 to 18. What happens here? So I'm going to use the same calculation here. So um, I'll do this. Now, this is the range. So it's the high number, 18, minus the low number. So minus, minus 4, plus 1 for the range. And then uh, over here, we add on the low number. Now, obviously, this is not a good calculation. So we've got to fix this up. Whenever you get two uh, negatives, you get a positive. So taking away negative 4 is the same thing as adding 4. And then here, We've got plus negative 4, so it's going to actually be minus 4 at the end. Okay, so what do I do here? This is 18 plus 4 is 22, plus 1 is 23. So uh, this will give me my range from negative 4 to 18. Uh, and if we wanted to uh, take a look at some different results, we can take this and insert math.random here to get a variety of different results that all fit within this range. So I'm going to copy and paste a whole bunch, and I'm going to run this, 
So we'll be able to see a whole bunch of different numbers this time that are all in the range of negative 4 to 23. So uh, that's the absolute minimum that I can get in that range. Um, it just bounces around a little bit. So what you want to do is uh, you want to use this formula if you need to use it uh, in order to figure out your random numbers. Or when you've practiced enough with this, you can probably come up with a lot of these off the top of your head without having to write it down. Um, but anyway, we're going to use random numbers a lot because I like programming games and random numbers are going to be the way uh, to keep those interesting.